guys, so today I'm filming a very requested video. This has been requested since I started making YouTube videos. And as you can tell from the title below, it is my braces experience video. Um, I'm actually getting my braces off tomorrow morning. So I wanted to sleep in and stuff, so I decided to just film the before part right now instead of tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into it because I have a feeling this is going to be a very long video. But as you saw before this video, you saw like the before and after. And throughout this video, I'm going to show you pictures of me before braces, me during braces, and me after braces. So I don't even know where to start. I wrote things on my phone that I wanted to touch on. So I'm just going to get started. So I decided to do this video for you guys. Not only was it requested, but if you guys are getting braces soon and you want to know like the pain and you want to hear from somebody like me what to expect or if you have braces right now and you're going to get them off, I can tell you that process too because halfway through this video it will go to me without braces. So yeah. Obviously my experience is not going to be the same for all of you or anybody else and I'm not like an orthodontist. So this is just my experience. My this is just my experience and I'm obviously not going to get the same work done as you guys. Maybe some of you might do the same, but pretty much the pain tolerance and getting them on and getting them off is pretty much the same. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to start off with how long I've had my braces. I've had my braces for two years, almost exactly. I got them on two years ago in like the middle of March and I'm getting them off the end of February this year. So I've had them on almost two years. I was only supposed to have my braces on for 11 months. Here are some pictures of me without braces before, about two years ago, when I was in 7th grade, so I got them in 7th grade. So as you guys can see, my teeth really weren't that bad. I just had a pretty bad overbite, so yeah. I'm going to show you my braces. They look like this. Um, I have just the... I have just the metal braces on my top and bottom, and I also have a power chain. That's that white thing, and I have rubber bands. So I'm going to talk about my whole mouth in a minute. So first off, um, maybe some of you guys are wondering if I ever had spacers. I did not. What I think spacers are, I'm not sure because I never had them, but you get them on before your braces and they're just like little like clear things that they put in between your teeth and like they spread out your teeth so to get ready for braces. So I think you do that if like your jaw isn't big enough. I'm not sure. But um, don't quote me on that because I never had spacers because my jaw was big enough. So yeah, I never had spacers, but I've heard that spacers are even more painful than the actual braces. So just keep that in mind if you are going to have spacers. So you go in and they take a mold. I'm not sure if they take the mold the same day you get your braces or the, I don't really know. But first are the molds or impressions. These are what people are so scared of. Um, basically what it is is it's like a little tray and there's like goo all in it and like foam and you just they put it like at ah, like on your the roof of your mouth and it takes an impression of your teeth this is before your braces and they also do it after your braces when I get them off tomorrow so they take that and then they take the bottom and that's just how like they know how to put your braces on but people get really scared of the molds because um when it goes in it kind of like it's kind of gross but you kind of like feel it go down your throat and it like freaks out a lot of people like my stepbrother like can't take it he like hates it for me it wasn't that bad I was just like uh like I was just sitting there it wasn't that bad I don't remember like if it actually like went down my throat because like sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but you just sit there and you breathe through your nose um I just stayed really calm so if you guys are really scared just stay really calm breathe through your nose keep your eyes open don't close your eyes it'll be fine it really was not that bad I was worried about it it wasn't that bad as for the braces process getting them on it took about an hour and I had top and bottom and basically they ha they put every single bracket they put every single bracket on each tooth the bracket is like the little uh, square and they just put it on each tooth and it takes about an hour I don't remember it hurting that bad getting it on getting them on I really don't think that they hurt it's just like some pressure that they push on certain teeth it might hurt like my front teeth always hurt really bad like they're just like sensitive so when they push on my front teeth there's just a lot of pressure um, it does it doesn't hurt though and it didn't hurt until like that night because I got them on in the morning the pain wasn't that bad it's just really uncomfortable and after, I know if you if you guys have braces, you know that after you got get them on, it's really weird and like really uncomfortable. And I've heard it's going to be like that when I get my braces off. It's just weird because like you're not used to having that in your mouth. 
Um, it's not bad though, like it's not a bad uncomfortable feeling, it's just uncomfortable for like the first couple hours for me. And especially when you're eating, it's really, really weird. Um, I didn't have a problem eating. I like went to school right after I got my braces on and I ate lunch. I don't, I didn't have a problem eating lunch or anything. I just ate, I remember because I was like eating it out of my backpack because I was so hungry. I just had like a peanut butter sandwich. It really wasn't that bad. They didn't actually, my teeth didn't actually start to hurt till that night. Um, it got pretty bad. That was probably like the most painful it's ever been through my whole braces experience. It's just like a lot of pressure because like your teeth are already moving right when you get them on. So it's just a lot of pressure. I just took like an Advil. It wasn't that bad. Like after you take an Advil, it's fine. The next day I took another Advil. I was fine. And then by like two days after that, I was fine. I was just kind of used to it. Just like certain teeth hurt here and there. Like these teeth always hurt for me. The canines, the pointy ones. This whole braces experience, it's really not that painful. So if you guys are scared, to get them on or you're nervous, really don't be nervous. Like you'll be really, you'll really be fine. It's fine. Next I'm going to talk about rubber bands, bite wings, and power chains. So most people have rubber bands. Not a lot of people. I've never met anybody else who had a bite wing like me or I've met a couple people that have power chains, but these are rubber bands. Um, basically there's all different sizes. As you can see, I have so much more. Basically what they are, are they are just little circles. And those are the big ones, they're usually smaller. Basically what you do, they're for um, overbites. So if you don't know what an overbite is, it's like when you bite, like if your front teeth come out too far, which I had a pretty bad overbite. So they gave me those about a year into my braces. So I've only had to been wearing them for a year. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I was so bad at wearing rubber bands, I never wore them. I'm wearing them right now, and I'm not even supposed to be wearing them right now, but... I was just really bad at wearing them. If you do have rubber bands, just really try to wear them because it will speed up the process. I never wore them. I wore them like one day and then I stopped until I had to go back. I'm going to talk about power chains. Power chains are this, is this white chain right here. Give you a little visual up close and personal. Basically what a power chain is, is it just, it goes from all the way back here up and it's just like a really kind of like thick thicker like rubber material and it just pulls all of your teeth together. Um, I'll talk more about the pain in a little bit. Eating restrictions. Um, you guys know that you're not supposed to eat a lot of things with braces. You're not supposed to drink a lot of soda. You're not supposed to chew gum. You're not supposed to ch um, eat like sticky, caramely, chewy candies. You're not allowed to eat popcorn. You can't chew on ice. There's a lot of different restrictions that you can't do. Honestly, I've never not eaten something because of my braces. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. And I've never broken a bracket. I know a lot of people who've broken brackets really easily. I've never broken it. I don't know if I was just lucky not to. But I drink soda. I chew gum every single day. I eat chewy candies. I've had caramel apples. I bite into an apple. I chew on ice. I used to have soda until this year. I don't drink soda anymore. But... Honestly, just be cautious of what you eat, but for the most part, I honestly, like, don't, like, if you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get braces on, but, like, caramel apples are my favorite, like, it's fine, just, just eat it, just be careful. Like, I've never broken a bracket, I don't, I chew gum every single day, I have a really bad habit with gum. I'm going to talk about the, like, monthly checkups they do. I went back every six weeks, I know some people go back every four weeks, I go back every six weeks. Um, and what they do with these little monthly check checkups is they tighten, you get your braces tightened, which basically what that means is they take your wire out, so it's just like the little squares on your teeth, and they like adjust it, or they give you a whole new wire and put it back in, so like your teeth go to like a different shape, you know? So that's what getting your braces tightened mean, and they'll do it to the top or the bottom. I've honestly only got my bottom wire changed like three times in two years. Yeah. But my top, I've gotten, like, maybe, like, ten. Um, but they do that, and then you can change your colors. I've never gotten colors before. When I first got them on, I got, like, a purple, and then a couple weeks, or, like, the next checkup, I got a, I got black, and then I took them off. And then after that, I've just, I just don't get colors. I just, I just don't. So I just kept the metal color on. The power chain, they have different colors, and I always got a white power chain. Just my personal preference. So I've never gotten colors, but... Um, when I, before I got braces, I was so excited to change colors like every month, but then I was like, no, whatever. Um, honestly, the pain after you get them tightened isn't that bad. 
Again, like certain teeth will hurt more. Always like my canines always hurt. Um, certain teeth will hurt more than others. It's nothing like an Advil can't fix. A couple of my friends, like after they get their braces tightened, they're like, oh, I can't eat. And I don't know if they're kidding or if they really can't eat. But honestly, I really like food. So after I get my braces tightened, I just eat. Like it doesn't hurt that bad. I mean, it's like, it's like, like ow, like a little bit, but you can still eat. So, so yeah, now I'm going to show you pictures of what I looked like with braces because you guys have obviously seen me with braces so I'm gonna do all that and then I'm gonna it's gonna flash to me tomorrow probably without my braces and I'll talk about my experience and give you some pictures without my braces so yeah <laughs> got my braces off as you can tell there's no braces on my teeth you guys want to see them so basically I got my braces off this morning at 9 oh at around 9 30 and it is 4 so I've had them on had them off for most of the day but I'm just going to talk to you guys about my experience about getting them off and what to expect and everything. I'm just going to start with how excited I was this morning. I was like dancing around my room, straightening my hair, like it, it was pretty bad. I was like really excited. So I'm going to tell you what the process was of how they took it off. So basically I just went in, sat in the chair. The whole process took around like 45 minutes. I thought it was going to take longer, but it took around 45 minutes. It took them like 30 minutes to actually get all the braces off and then x-rays and stuff were like 15 minutes. So what they did was we got there and I just sat down in the chair and she just took this little tool and she just pulled every single one off. It didn't hurt that bad. There's just like some pressure, but it didn't hurt. Um, she pulled every single one off and then the whole braces came off like the bracket and the wire it just all came off and then it felt really weird like it felt really slimy and like really like your teeth were really thick and then so then she told me to go brush my teeth so I went and I was like brushing my teeth and then that was it there's just um the glue was still all on my teeth and after they pulled them all off and I brushed my teeth with just like some toothbrush with like some toothpaste on it um I went and sat back down in the chair and then this is when the painful part came she took this like tool drill thing and it just like vibrates and it she goes each individual tooth and she gets all of the glue and cement off it was it hurt I'm not gonna lie to you guys it hit her pretty bad like that was a lot of pain and I don't know I guess my teeth are kind of sensitive so what she did, she went on each individual teeth and just like did it and it took like one minute per tooth. So like it, it's not like she just went like, eh, eh. like it took like a minute or like a couple minutes per tooth. So it was just like cold and the smell and the taste was horrible. It's like cement and I was trying to breathe through my nose and it was just like really bad. And a lot and these front teeth down here, all the front teeth were really sensitive and like it hurt so bad. The molars weren't that bad though, like my stepbrother, he said that the molars hurt the worst, but I thought the front teeth hurt really bad. So it was like, oh, it was horrible. And I like hate getting my teeth cleaned, so like I just like hated doing that. But two of my friends, when I went back to school, two of my friends were like, oh, I, I like that feeling of like, it's cold. I did not like it. But, um, so I did that and then she was like, okay go brush your teeth, don't be alarmed, because there's a little blood, and, like, there was, because, like, she hit my gums, so there was, like, blood right here, but that's okay, and, um, another thing is, I listened to my music while, or I listened to my phone while she was, like, doing it, so that really helped. While they were drilling my teeth, I put one of my headphones in, and I was listening to it, and if you guys, they're not gonna say, like, you can't do that, I, just, like, when she was about to do it, I was like, oh, can I listen to my to the music on my phone she's like oh yeah that's fine so if you guys like if you guys do that it'll take away from like 
the pain. You won't think about it that much. It helped a lot. So if you guys want to do that, I recommend doing that. Then, so after I brushed my teeth again, I just like rinsed it with water. And then we did impressions. And um, yesterday I said that the impressions weren't that bad. Today, they were pretty bad. Um, first she did the bottom ones and it was like, it was like digging into my gum. It hurt really bad, but it was fine. And then she did the top ones and I started gagging. We had to do it like three different times because I was like gagging because it was like going down my throat. So just remember to keep your eyes open and breathe through your nose. So yeah, that was basically it. And then I rinsed my teeth and then I left. And then I came back like five hours later for my retainers. So I got these retainers. I got the Invisalign retainers. They just look like this. And you just snap them in. And I took them out for this video because I'm not used to talking with them yet. And it's kind of hard to talk with. So, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. But if you guys have any other questions about braces or getting them off or getting them on or rubber bands or anything that I talked about in this video or if I missed something in this video and you guys have a question about it, just leave it below and I'll definitely respond to you guys. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this braces experience i enjoyed sharing my whole braces experience with you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye